the best day that I've had in a very, very long time. Alright, welcome back to the new home site out in the field. We just discovered it today. Last video I kind of left you guys hanging. We decided to stop off here and walk out into this field and maybe find an old home site that's on the map. Possibly. You guys know the last time I went looking for an old home site, it took me like three days to find it. Sounds like it's Possibly a copper. The first time for everything. Oh look, baby, look. Oh, oh what is that? I knew it was I knew it was gonna be a copper. I was afraid it was gonna be a copper. <laughs> but we're on to part two of that video. And I've just got another good signal. It sounds like it could be another copper. So I'm feeling kind of good about it. <laughs> we're gonna check it out together. Um, it's kind of a high 60s, dipping into the 70s. So it's possible that it's a copper, but it could also be a button. Not entirely sure yet, but we're gonna dig it together. We'll find out. Here we go. If I can find the signal again, because the grass is really tall, and that's why it's throwing off the signals, because I have to lift my coil up quite a ways. So, well, I could totally contradict myself, because now it's back up in the 70s, 80s. We've got a good signal here. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is good signal. Could be a copper. Let's see what we've got because we dug the other copper right there where my backpack is. Right there where Andrew was bottom feeding. Let's see, let's see what we got. It's still in there. Let's see, this is it. Oh, I see it, it's not a copper. It's a shotgun plug, no! We jinxed the video, we jinxed the video right off the bat. Shotgun shell, darn it. It's like the first shotgun shell I've dug out in this field. And, oh, okay, it's all right, it's all right. Ooh, cleansing breaths. Let's keep going. I know there's treasure out here. We've been digging it all day. Just happened to be the one live dig that I did to start out the video that totally sucked. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's see what we can get. All right, I've got a signal here that's in the high 50s, low 60s on the VDI. I'm thinking maybe we can get a button or because of all the grass it could be a coin that's just ringing in low we will see it's not a jersey copper it might be a jersey copper it's not a jersey copper the road from the last two jersey coppers how many jersey coppers have you dug Andrew? go away <laughs> oh goodness film your own non-jersey copper Any day now. Oh, stop. You know I think forever. <laughs> it's a button. It's another button. Oh, with gold gilt on it. Sweet. Flat button. It's a little... Look at that. It's a fancy button. Check out the back. Yeah, it is. Is it focusing? Sometimes that camera has focusing problems. Just like my son. It's like me, he gets that from me, those focusing problems. Zip ties and duct tape. <laughs> That's right, folks. That's how I keep her in line. Zip ties oh and duct God. tape. <laughs> no wonder my viewers hate you. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. You guys love him. Yeah, no, they don't. They hate my guts. <laughs> That's all right, though. At least you didn't throw it back in the hole. <laughs> no, not this time. Next one. I'll do that next time. When it's a Jersey copper. <laughs> Uh. All right, so I don't have a brush with me to brush off most of the dirt, but you can see it still has some gold gilds on it. And what I'll do when I get home is I'll brush that off and I'll hit it with some lemon juice. And the lemon juice will just bring out that gold gilt and really make it pop again. But it's a really cute little button. I'm pretty pleased with that one. That might go in with the rest of my buttons. That's a good one. 
All right, well, today's turning into a pretty good day. Let's keep going. Check this out. That is really neat. What'd you get? It's a decorative piece. Maybe, um, I don't know. Possibly jewelry. Possibly jewelry. Maybe a clasp to something. It's very decorative. I like it. Sweet. All right, so Andrew and John were out the other day and they went back out to the field. I was watching the kids and he comes to me at the end of the day and he says, you know, you might as well stick a fork in that site in the middle of the field because we were out there all day. We didn't find anything. So that site is done. And I thought, you know, it's a little, it's a little sad because we pulled so many amazing things out of that site. And I thought that site would never stop producing. When you're out in the site for the entire day and it's just quiet, you know that you've pretty much dug it out. So today, stumbling across this home site, it's just kind of like, all right then, we've got a new home site for 2019. This is awesome. I'm pretty was thrilled right? about this. What? Was I right? No, you weren't right. I was right. Okay, fine. Okay. You, you were right. Again. Andrew, you were right. Again. Andrew, again. Andrew, again. you were right. <laughs> I don't say it very often, but you heard it right here. All right, let's keep going. All right, well, I just stuck another one of those fancy things. So it makes me think that it possibly is a piece of jewelry and it may have been a link to a bracelet, which makes it pretty darn cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna show it to you. Um, there must be more out here because this is our second one. So maybe we can find the complete bracelet and put it back together again. Maybe that's a little optimistic, but you just never know. So check this out. Pewter is a very, very soft metal. But this is a phenomenal Psst. sign of a home site. I was right. All right. Guess what just happened? I didn't live dig it because it was so stinking loud. I thought there's no way that this is gonna be a copper, but <laughs> sure looks like a copper. I could be jinxing myself. It could be a button, but no pun intended. Um, it's another copper. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. The other ones I couldn't even hardly read. Oh my gosh, rub it off underneath. So the trick is to rub it off before it dries, because once it dries, it's like impossible to get anything off of it. So I see Britannia on one side. It's very clear. And on the other side, I've got George. George and Britannia, that would be a King George. And he's right facing. So much like the other video, that would either make him a King George the first or a King George the third. And we might actually be able to get a date off of this guy. Um, it's drying up there. Once it dries up, I'll be able to get a good date off it. And I'll throw up an undug example. But, sweet, our first copper for the video. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm gonna stick it in my other pocket because I've got my goodies from the first video on this pocket so I can keep everything organized. And then at the end of the day, I could be like, look what I got, Andrew, I beat you. Oh, I'm just kidding, he's having a rough day. He's having a rough day, but you know what? I know he's gonna pull something good out right at the end and he's gonna beat me. It's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna be little like grumpy pants. All right, I just, I honestly, I just don't know what's happening right now. I've got another signal right here. I guarantee it's a copper. I just, I, I absolutely guarantee that this is a copper. And we're gonna put this footage in the video regardless. 
so you guys can make fun of me if it's not. But <laughs> I'm almost positive that this is a copper. Check this out. Oh, almost lost the shovel there. Okay, listen, look and listen. Let's get the VDI on there. It's not focusing. Okay, the VDI is in the 80s. And I know you can probably hear that through my headphones, but it's right here. I'm almost positive we've got a copper. It's ringing higher than the others, so it's possible that... Oh, I'm just talking to my camera. Oh my God, it's iron. It's not a copper. Okay, you guys can laugh at me now because it's definitely not a copper. Good. Stop, you're supposed to cheer for me because you love me. Maybe. Maybe. Darn it. All right, we did it again. This has been the best day that I've had in a very, very long time. Um, I don't think <laughs> I've dug this many coppers like ever in one day. This is insane. Check this out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cleans up here. I think this one's gonna be pretty wiped. It's starting to rain pretty good now. I'm having a hard time making this one out as well. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the others. I'm not really sure. I can't really make out a bust. And I can't really make out Britannia either. So I don't know what that means for this coin. Um, but when we get it home, we'll take a closer look at it. But it was ringing up beautifully on the machine, which makes me wonder, the grass is so tall here that if it was just cut, if we could get like right up against the ground, I, I just can't imagine what those squeaky signals would be like. Right under the surface. It's like, I'm dying to know what's down there because we're, we're, our coils are a good three inches off the ground just trying to get over <laughs> the grass. But uh, we're still pulling stuff out. So today's a good day, without a doubt. So let's keep going. Focus. Okay, well I'm not sure yet what we've got, but it was ringing up in the mid-tone and I decided to dig it. It was kind of faint. I can kind of see something here. Right there. Ah, there we go. I've got a tom back. It's a pretty beat up tomback, but it's a tomback button. So this is a 1700s button. Which kind of helps us date the site a little bit. Those coins we were pulling out were 1700s. Now we've got the tomback button. One of those buttons I think was probably early 1800s. So the site is, it's got some age to it, which is, which is good feeling optimistic. I know there's more here and I know that once, if, if they cut this field at some point, we'll be able to get a lot of really good stuff out of here. It's just a matter of battling the grass. So um, we're going to keep going. We've probably only got about an hour of daylight left, but there's more here. I know it. And we're going to find it. So let's keep going. All right. Well, it was getting dark and we had to hike back. I was hoping to get a few more signals out of there, but just was not happening. So, um, I'm going to do a quick wrap up tomorrow, clean everything up, try to get some dates off those coins. Um, a wrap up from the last video and this video of just everything all together from this site, but we'll definitely be back here. I know there's gotta be more stuff. This is pretty exciting. I think uh, we did pretty good today, but, um, make sure you go check out Drew's video because he kind of caught up there at the end and did pretty good. Um, naughty dog treasures. I'll put a link down below. All right later. All right, so let's do a quick wrap up on everything we found at the home site. First off, we've got this thing. 
This was like the first thing that I dug that was like, oh, wait a second, there is stuff here. Andrew was maybe right after all. Um, I wasn't sure when I dug it if there was fancy on it, and after cleaning it up, there is clearly something on it. I'm just not sure what. It's not a button, there's no hole in the back. I don't know if maybe it was a drawer pull, if maybe that was like, I don't know, or possibly, you know what, there might be even something on the back. I don't know, this piece has got me a little, uh, I don't know. Um, this is obviously a Tom back button that has seen better days, 1700s button. I cut these, and at first I thought that maybe I was digging a bracelet, but I almost wonder if it was a, a lady's buckle of some sort. Um, now that they're matching, those were the only two pieces I found. But they were cool and they were fancy, so I will take those. Another little button with some gold gilt on it. That was quite the little button. I like that. All right, let's get into the coins. All right, now the two mystery coins that are pretty toasty. <laughs> Um, I did look at these pretty darn close with a flashlight, uh, basically. I turned them like this and I, sh I shined a flashlight on them to try to get some of the details of the ridges. Um, they are both Hibernias. Um, they are Hibernias. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I've only dug one Hibernia before, so got two Hibernias out of the field. Pretty pleased with that. Um, and I can see the harp on them. That's how I was able to identify them. I can see the crown in the harp. And in one, I can see the edge of the harp. So um, it's just going to be too hard to show on camera. So there's that. Okay, we got these two coins here. Now, the bust is right facing. So that would make these either King George the first or King George the third. Unfortunately, Despite all efforts, we could not get a date off of them. So, you can see Britannia on the back of both of them. But there was just no getting a date off, unfortunately. So, they are. This was probably the nicest coin that I dug. I'm pretty pleased with that. And my favorite piece of the home site that I dug on day one. Now this is actually made to look like a real from Mexico. Um, a copper real. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Uh, but clearly it is not. It is a button. It is a definite button. It was, you can see the mold marks there on the back. And that's where the shank would have been, so. I'm, I still love it. It's probably one of my favorite buttons that I've ever dug. Without a doubt. And I've seen Andrew had dug a little a little size button, but this is absolutely one of my, my favorite buttons. And you guys know I love buttons, so. I'm gonna treasure that one for sure. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And whether you're looking for your first metal detector or you'd like to upgrade your current machine, we carry the full line of Garrett metal detectors. And I put a link to our website down in the description. You're so sweet I'm gonna take you home